Mistakes. Whether they're small errors in judgment or epic failures, we don't like to make them. Errors in software usually stop the code dead in its tracks or create output that leave us scratching our heads wondering what went wrong. In this video, we'll be talking about making and detecting errors in JavaScript code using the browser console. If you watch this video in its entirety, you will be able to open the console in the Chrome browser on a PC and a Mac. Determine what error may have occurred. Identify the line number where an error is suspected and test small snippets of code using the console. Testing and detecting errors is a part of the programming process. You'll improve at troubleshooting as you make errors and you learn from them. So let's go make some mistakes and see where it leads us. In a previous video, we discussed adding the JavaScript alert function to an HTML document. If you haven't already checked out this video, I'll leave a link in the description below. In this video, I'll repeat the process of adding the code for the JavaScript alert function, but I'll also add a few mistakes that we can troubleshoot with the console. As you can see here, we have an alert function correctly typed between script tags. We can save our work and run the code in the browser, and the alert box correctly displays. Now let's return to the HTML document and throw in a monkey wrench or two. We will start by typing our function name incorrectly. On line 9, I'll type A-L-R-E-T to misspell the function name. Save and run the code. In the browser, we're expecting to see an alert message if the code is written correctly, and we notice that the alert message does not appear. We also notice that we're given no apparent reason for the error from our browser. To troubleshoot the problem, we must open the console. Since we're working in the Chrome browser on a PC with the Windows operating system, we can either select the three dots called the kebab menu, then choose more tools and developer tools, or we can type control, shift, and I. It's extremely important to realize that these menu options and shortcut key combinations changed based on the operating system and the browser that you're using. If you're working on the Mac operating system with a Chrome browser, you could go to the kebab menu in the top right corner of the Chrome window and choose More Tools, Developer Tools. Or you could skip the menus altogether and choose Option, Command, and I. If you're using a different operating system or browser, check the browser documentation or look up the menu and shortcut keys on the internet using a search engine. Back in the browser console, you will notice the console identifies the error and provides a line number where the error was recognized. The information provided by the console does not guarantee that this is where the coding is incorrect, but it provides a great starting point for troubleshooting. From our example, we can see the console lists an uncaught reference error, and it lists details after a colon. In this case, ALRET is not defined. You will also find in the console the name of the file containing the error, a colon, and the line number where the error was found. We can click on the line number to see the code in the Sources tab with the line number flagged in a wavy underline. Notice we can go back and forth between the console and the Sources tab if needed. Let's return to Notepad++ to correct the error. Spell the function name correctly, A-L-E-R-T, and we'll make another error so we can view the error details in the console. We will remove the parentheses at the end of the line. 
Again, let's save our work and run the updated file. Again, we do not see the alert message, so we know there is a problem. We can open the console, and this time we'll use Control, Shift, and J. And the console displays an uncaught syntax error. The details provided list a missing parentheses after the argument list. We can also notice line 9 is again the suspected culprit. To understand this error, we need to remember that the alert function accepts only one argument between a set of parentheses. This argument represents the message that will be displayed in the alert box. If we omit the closing parentheses, we are not following the rules for creating the alert box and a syntax error is generated. We'll go back to Notepad++ and fix the code by adding the parentheses. We'll make one last mistake by removing the closing quote. Save and run the updated file, and the alert box does not appear once again. No alert message means that the code did not run correctly, so let's open the console with Control, Shift, and J. The console displays a syntax error that an invalid or unexpected token was found. This error appears when the browser is expecting something, like a quote in our case, and encounters a different character, like the closing parentheses and the semicolon at the end of the line. We can return to Notepad++ and fix our errors. I'll add back the closing quote and save and run to check to make sure everything still works correctly. Before moving on, I'd like to point out that the console is capable of so much more than simply identifying errors and the suspected line numbers. You can also use the console to test snippets of code. For example, if I simply wanted to practice using the alert function, I could click in the console and type the alert function followed by the message I want displayed. If I press enter on the keyboard, the alert message displays. You can disregard the word undefined, which you see underneath of the alert message, because this is used when values are returned to the console. The alert message will not return a value. In this video, we've explored arguably one of the most important skills a programmer can master, troubleshooting. We learned how to open the console in the Chrome browser on a PC and a Mac. We identified the potential source of an error and the suspected line number where the error occurred. We also used the console to test small snippets of code. I hope you found this video enlightening. Thanks for watching.